Hi everyone, it's Nelly again. If you're new to my channel, I am Nelly, and I live in a bus with my four grandkids, four of my grandkids, a dog and my husband. Um, at the moment we are using the downstairs room of my friend's place where we're camped here, fixing up the bus, getting my husband healthy again. And um, yeah, I've kind of commandeered it. So I'm in the process of reducing and uh, selling and um, repacking my bus so I can keep the things I wanna keep. So this is why everything looks like it does at the moment. One day I hope to have a really nice place to video at, but this is how it is at the moment. Um, I did try and do, I did another video the other day and decided to uh, scrap it. It was all with my costume jewelry. If you want to see it, let me know. I'm in the middle of um, getting rid of a lot of stuff that I have in, that I've had put away and other new items that I've got as well. And uh, yeah, just trying to reduce a lot of that that doesn't get used. And I'd rather go to someone else who's going to use it and love it. Um, I decided to scrap it because there's a couple of ladies that I love to watch who find the most amazing things. One's in America, one's in Australia. Um, and they have found, with their costume jewelry they found recently, they found gold and silver. Mine's not that exciting. Mine is costume jewelry, real costume jewelry, Hong Kong um you know vintage most of it's vintage or you know modern but really nice pieces if you want to see it let me know okay but if you want to go and see the girls that got the ten dollar boxes and found gold and silver in it go and have a look at tam's place she's american and she finds amazing things and also um the asset girl who lives in perth and she finds amazing things too they both have got these costume jewelry boxes for ten dollars and found gold and silver <laughs> Mine is just a collection of costume jewellery. So if you want to see it, let me know, okay? Please uh, leave a comment and subscribe and, and hit like if you like the video. So anyway, from then, I'm going to go into what I got the last week. Now, Saturday, Sunday, there's no garage sales or anything worth going to. Well, there was, I think there was one and I had a flat battery, which I caused again. So nothing happened. So I'm going to go in with what I've got here. No method of you know what I got first because I'll probably forget but if I can I will and I'll go from there okay so here we go um I yeah I got more vintage purses now one of the vintage purses I'm going to show you is one I've actually had for a while and I don't think I have showed you but I'm I'm pretty sure I haven't because it got missed and it's this gorgeous little um number all beaded is it made in Hong Kong one and it's yeah lovely little purse so i'm going to be selling that i actually had it it's going to be selling with the silver vintage one that i got but i gave it to my friend who needed one for her son's wedding so um that i've got and that was about a month ago i think a bit more then the other day i went to the op shop and there was nothing i was walking around and i'm going oh, i'm damn there's nothing here da, da, da. and as i walked out of the shop um, I went to the bag area and I got this Converse bag. Now Converse is not old, but it's well sought after by young people quite often. And I didn't realise it had a little bit of damage here, but it doesn't matter because one of the granddaughters is going to get it. So that was a pretty good buy because Converse is um, an expensive brand. But when I picked that up, it must have opened the floodgates for purses because then I went into the front room and hanging on their bag section was this lovely purse which I did think was vintage and I grabbed it and when I got out I realized I had a little tiny spot just there but it's actually not vintage it's made in China but that's okay because it's got a vintage vibe to it and I know someone's going to love it and other than that little spot that we've got here it's actually in really good condition but it's got the telltale and why do I know it's made in China because it's got the telltale made in China sticker inside which I should have looked but it had that vintage look and it was hanging with these bags here so I just figured it was vintage until I got outside. And these are definitely vintage. The beautiful tapestry bags of which I've had many, many over the years. And I don't know what I have left in storage, but I know I've sold a lot of them. And it's part that was sitting there too. So I probably will sell them because I've really got to stop hanging on to things. What I have, I have decided with what I do with selling, I am so much better at vintage stuff. I have bought a lot of more modern things. They don't sell very quickly. I just, I probably because my heart's not in it. I don't know, but I just love the vintage. And I think I will continue to buy bits and pieces of unusual modern things um, and things that I know will sell. But vintage is where I'm really going to be making um, 
my money and what I'll be reselling because that's what I have a passion for more than anything and I think that's really important with whatever you do you, you find your passion and you go with that um, another day I can't remember which day it was and it wasn't the same day I got this gorgeous little purse I don't know where I got this one from but it's um, one of those little knitted or crocheted um, hard you know homemade one I think but um, it's got no lining in it but yeah it's, it is vintage because it's uh, you can tell I can tell I know it's vintage and it's got the lovely um, print the stamping across the there as well so they are my little purses and I think that's all the purses I got recently then while I was in one of the op shops the other day I saw this really pretty piece of fabric and the lady said oh what is that and I and I think and I think I'm right it's one of those like a food throw like you've got a table full of food and you just throw over the food so that the flies don't get in it but look at the beautiful work on it so I don't know how old that would be I I'm thinking 50s 60s maybe I think maybe 60s but um yeah I just thought it was really really pretty and I'll probably keep this because it always comes in handy to have that something to throw over your food if you're you know having a barbecue or something like that so that's a keeper I'll leave that one there okay yesterday vintage again went to a shop that I don't go into very often now the netting's missing I will be selling this um but the netting's missing but it's just one of those little vintage little hats I used to wear back in the day 60s 50s 60s so cute no no maker's mark inside but you know it's um it's vintage so it's beautiful <laughs> as far as I'm concerned and it's probably not something that everyone likes so it's just something I just love um last week too I got another one of these I love these wall hanging things now these are only this isn't made in China I think my last one sorry made in India and I think the last one the round one I showed you last time was also made in India it's got a tinny feel to it so it'll be hung in the bus somewhere with my other one because um, I love I love hooks and sort of the old metal and the press pattern on it so that one's keeping as well I'm a, a shocker I know uh, yesterday I think it was yesterday I went into one of the sh houses the house op shop where my friend works but he wasn't there yesterday and I got this glass rolling pin now on Monday I went in and a lady in late in the afternoon pick up before I picked up the kids and a lady came in with all her mother's she was probably in her 60s she came with all her mother's stuff and I'm like oh goodness ah, will she done take it all now or put it straight in my car and I thought I'll leave it a day and I'll come in a couple of days after to see and I probably this was one of hers so it's I don't know if it's old it's got a seam in it if anyone's got one are these old are they all old it's got the open there and the close there I presume it's an old one I don't know whether it's just a reproduction one but I grabbed it anyway because it was only two dollars and I will be selling it I just got to do some more research with that and while I was there though I didn't get this till this morning because I kept thinking about it there was this sitting there now do you know what it is I do now because I've asked and researched <laughs> um, I don't know if it's got something missing in that spot there I don't know or it's just I don't know what's if there's something missing there but it's actually a silent butler also a crumb catcher so they must have swept the crumbs off into it. I don't know that's what I've been told it is that's what I've looked up it is so it's got all that work inside which is actually a little bit um, faded off scratched off a little bit inside but it was just such a unique piece that I had to have it so yeah I saw it yesterday and I left it there it was only four dollars now when I got it this morning Laurie's going hey, it's too cheap they shouldn't have sold it so cheap and I'm going to care but I don't know if there's a little bit of something's missing here because it looks like something's been re-glued or it's come loose at one time it has been re-glued I don't know but I will be selling it sadly there is no maker's marks on it so whether it's really old I don't know it's got the lovely pressed metal across there so yeah I got that today so it was still waiting for me because I kept thinking about it um there's something else I got from there and it was probably from, I think it's from the same lady so excuse me while I bend over it's a bit of an awkward uh, I wanted to pick up uh, is this now I forgot what it's called chafing chafing dish something to keep your food warm it's all all copper it's got this at the bottom which I presume you put your heat in actually I haven't even opened that yet 
don't even know how you open it. Anyway, so it's got that at the bottom. It sits under here. It's got wooden handles, wooden up here, and all copper. Is that copper or brass, whatever? And this is copper. So it might be brass there, and that's copper here. Um, and it's got the two the two pieces there as well. Now, this one actually has a maker's mark on it, which I have not even looked at yet, which I probably should have, but I've left all my close eye stuff upstairs. So when I'm editing, I'll try and remember to put the name of what this is um, somewhere up here. I'm still terrible at editing, but, you know, I'll learn eventually. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. What do you, what do you guys reckon? I just I stood there for a while, then I sent it to one of my old, the, the old, oh, identification group that I'm in it's an American one but I asked them they said it's a cha chafing dish so it's c-h-a-f-i-n-g uh, bowl whatever and uh, yeah so I don't know a great deal about them other than they keep your food warm but I thought it was really cool and very unusual so I will be selling that because I'm running out of space to store anything um, what else did I get yesterday when I was there I got these glasses I got four of these and I've, I don't know, ever since I've started watching Crazy Lamp Lady and Real Nifty Vintage, I have got this thing about glasses. So when I see nice painted glasses like this, I, send, I tend to grab them. So I'm getting a bit of a collection. I've got spotty ones over there. I've got these. Now, I should sell them all, and I probably will sell them all. Whether I'll sell them in a bundle, I don't know at the moment. But, um, yeah, I really like them. So it's their fault I'm collecting all these glasses with all the prints and patterns and colors on them it's their fault um uh what else did i get i got these i think the same shop but last earlier this week the paul frank mugs the boys have seen them so i think they're going to be kept because uh when they're nice other copy mugs break <laughs> which they will they'll probably get these ones because there's not a great deal of a markup or you know comps on the um on ebay for these so I will probably let the boys have those and these I got yesterday so I thought I'd show you because you know how I am with my glasses and how cool I think all these funky glasses are which will go into my dress up box so pretty cool aren't they you can see actually see I didn't think you'd be able to but you can actually see quite well out, out of them so yeah they're only like 50 cents each or something yesterday um Today I got, when I went back to get the, what did I get? No, it's a different shop. I had to buy a jumper today. I was so cold. I don't know where you are, but I was so cold this morning. I actually had this shirt underneath and I went into town and I was so cold. I ran into the op shop and luckily the only bit, she said she'd only just wash, washed it the day before because <laughs> they've got a washing machine in the in the op shop. So they wash stuff and hang it up. And I got this, while I was there, I also got M&M, m, &M, m, &M um, dispenser it's only plastic but people collect these so i always keep an eye out for this type of thing and i've got a friend who up in bundy who collects them so whether she's interested i don't know but yeah i got that and i also got while i was there this tim tam ceramic souvenir collectors i don't know container it's only made in china but they must have been only recent but i actually eyed one off in one of the other rock shops in the amber uh, a couple of times it's still sitting there because I got six dollars on it. This was only a dollar. I hate Tim Tams. I I can't I can't eat them. I, they're gross. So I'll probably end up taking the cover off this and using it for something. I can't. It's got Tim Tam on it. But um, I don't know. I'll see if it's worth selling. But otherwise, I'll put the kids and the husband's Tim Tams in here. I am trying to eradicate glassware, so I'm happy with that. I mean, sorry, plasticware. So I'm happy that this is not plastic and it's um, ceramic glass, whatever. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I got there. Oh, yeah, when I got the chafing dish, it's the same, it must be the same lady. Look at this. Look at this. 1970s case, if I've ever seen one. Look, it's got GMC, CHC, CHC written on top. Whether that's their name, I don't know. But check out this. I was really stoked with this one. Ah, come on. Had it opened earlier. Hang on, I'll just put it this way and I'll open it. Or not. Oh, good grief. Nothing like doing this in public on the, <laughs> on the video. Okay, I've got it open. And look at this. 
Correct to correct. Is it caress? I think they're called a wine caress and six glasses. How cool is it? How 70s is that? So I will be selling it because I don't drink wine, but I just love it. I just think it's what an awesome little 70s carry bag with those in it. If you love a, love wine, love taking wine to people's places, you don't want to take a normal bottle, you can put it in that and look really spiffy. So that's what I got in that shop, which I thought was really good. Um, yesterday afternoon, I went to a different shop and I got one of these. Now, I know they're not old, but my Miss 12 has got two of these. This will be number three. Um, I must have given one to someone else. I don't know. But it was only a dollar. And in another shop in town here, uh, sorry, it's two dollars. In another shop in town here, they got ten dollars on them. Like, one exactly like this. They got ten. They were only selling for twelve dollars at Kmart like last year or the year before. So I got that. I thought it was really cool. And it's nothing nicer than you know that sensory thing. So it'll probably get put away or given to her or something unless I keep playing with it. Um, my table. Okay, I'm trying to think where I was up to. Okay, that was yesterday. And so that was there. I got that from there. And I think I got that from there too, which is a timer. And why did I get a timer? Which is not even anything fancy, but it's probably vintage slightly. Um, because it's only 50 cents. And one of the kids always says to us, can you tie me doing something? Of course you do. Yeah, no worry. But then you forget to press stop when they say, tie me for five minutes. Oh, okay, sorry, mate. It's like eight minutes, you know. So now they can time themselves. So I got that for that reason. <laughs> That's why I got that. Um, yesterday, when I got the pillow yesterday and that yesterday, I also got non-vintage, but I got Betty Boop um, Duna set, okay. Why did I get Betty Boop Duna set? Because I was watching the other day, I... Uh, one of the other groups I'm in, up, uh, recycling and fabrics and upcycling and all the rest of it, um, put a video up of this young girl in the UK who makes dresses and stuff out of old quilts. And I thought, mm, if I ever get my sewing on again, how cute would that be in a skirt or something? So I end up getting that. So, yeah, oh, there's always a reason for my madness. Oh, I forgot these things. Um, then uh, while I was there also, I can't remember where I got this one, but I really and it's really cute it's a little mickey mouse bow tie i don't know if you can see that very clearly because i don't really want to open the box it's not been open hang on oh, it's easy to get out um it's actually got gowing so i'll have to research how old this is i don't know but it's a really funky little bow tie which will be up for sale mickey mouse always does well so that's another one and Last week, early this week, early this week, I think, I got, I'll show you these first, I've got these beautiful gloves, vintage gloves, which will be going up for sale, and I also got this necklace, now, I haven't looked at the chain, I can't see any spots on the chain, but this is actually sterling silver, and possibly we'll keep it, put it away for miss one of the misses when they're a bit older, Put a photo of their mum in it. I'm not sure if I'll use that one. I'll buy a new one like I did for their older sister. Um, but I can't see. It looks like silver. The chain looks like silver, but I can't find any stamping on it. So I'm going to haven't looked at that to investigate whether that's right or not. But while I was at the same shop yesterday, I got this macrame book, which I'm going to keep myself because I keep promising I'm going to learn macrame. And it's got all the um, basically wearables all wearable mostly i think or a couple of wall hangings on it too so i'll be keeping that that's a shop that's a bit expensive their books are always i think are too expensive i paid two dollars for it which isn't too bad for a craft book but a lot of their books like even their little golden books are two dollars each which i think is ridiculous you know like give people a chance to be able to buy it cheaper so they can sell it themselves um this morning i got this little nikon no it's not a nikon a fuji film camera i don't know if it works if it does i'll see if it's worth anything or whether the boys can use it i also got um this really nice gray blanket now i said to the other day i wasn't going to buy anything that wasn't tagged it has got a vintage tag on it but it's all faded out but this type of fabric is really good for upcycling lining um 
you know clothing or anything with and and it's a good color for our family because our family are grotty you <laughs> know just that in the vase I've got to be careful what I put in there I don't want anything ruined and that's not going to be ruined too much it's actually put in the pet blanket section which I don't know why it was only two dollars so yeah I just thought it was nice I'm all over the place now um yesterday back where I was yesterday where I got something I don't know I got this kimono they had a few kimonos there but this one drew me one was beautiful but it had a little bit of it was actually I think a fair income kimono jacket was a gray color with patterns on it but there was a section where it had a stain on the shoulder they wash everything everything's been washed a uh, stain on the shoulder and a, a run mark at the very bottom and fading where someone's had it hanging near near the sun so I left that one there and there was another one that had looked at it, had a bit of running on it too but she said she's going to call me when they get the other ones in which is really good but the reason I got this one one it's homemade beautifully homemade and two, I'm 100% sure this is silk. This is real silk in here. And this is silk. I'm 100% sure this is silk as well. Um, it's a very, very pretty pink. There's, I, I cannot see any fading on it. It looks like it's, um, you know, just in really good condition. And it's really, really soft. And it's just got that really old school, old world vintage look to it. And the back of it is a little bit different too. It's got that little bit of work on it on the back of it and I just thought it was just lovely and I probably will be selling it it's just a lovely um, kimono and I think that's all I got from that shop and then I went to another shop because I do and there was this really big piggy bank pig <laughs> made in England and I left him there because I just had this feeling I was going to drop him and I thought someone else would get delight out of him. But I've got a tennis racket. <laughs> Do you know how long, and it's, I know it's broken there, but you know how long, I, I told you recently, I've been looking for te wooden tennis rackets for so long to keep in my collection. I got two last month for $10 each. I now will sell one of those probably and keep this one because I think this one is even older because it's got someone called, I don't even know his name. It's got this old fella, Lewis Head, Hode. Lewis someone and on here on the side of it it's got 1949 1950 51 and then it's got 1952 so I have a feeling hang on 1955 so this one has to be I must be his winnings I don't know it's got yeah he is must be the guy that's on that picture that's that guy there it's his winnings it must be it's it's faded out it's, it's been well used this racket um, it says Lewis oh, Lewis Hode wins national and international singles singles championship. He must have been using this Dunlop, a Dunlop racket like this, and he's got all his dates. So this is 1955 was the last bit on it in Queensland. So I'm going to research it. There you go. I'm going to research it. It's going to be hanging somewhere, somewhere in my bar, my imaginary dream bar, um, one day. So I've got that. And then yesterday, once again, where was I yesterday? I got this amazing, what else did I get there? I got something else. But anyway, I got this really gorgeous. Check this out. Where are we? Over here. Can you see this little horse? I don't know if you can see it very well. There's no stamps on it. I think he is a homemade. You see the tambourine? He's got a little, he's, he's a horse. Moves, his head moves. His head moves around. And um, it's a tambourine. He set it into, into a tambourine, and all the pieces are there, which I think is amazing. And it's got the really old closure on it. So I think it's lovely. I don't know whether to sell it or not. It's got no stamp marks on it, it's just metal. Um, I probably will sell it, but it's just so gorgeous. I wasn't going to, I was going to get to Mr. 10, but he won't look after it, and I need money more than that. But it's just so beautiful and unique. I mean, it's, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's lovely. I don't know what to do. I would keep it or not. I might keep it for now and see what I'll do with it later. But um, he's a beautiful, beautiful horse. Have another look. I don't know if you can see. It's blurry. No, you probably won't. Oh, there he goes. He's moving. No, anyway. So that's my horse brooch. And I thought it was lovely. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. And yes, this morning I went to the where I got my jumper. See, I told you I was going to be all over the place. And I got myself for five dollars 
a music stand. Why did I get a music stand? Because I've got these high, high, high hopes of being able to learn the ban banjo one day. Not the banjo. Yeah, well, I actually have. I've got a banjo in storage. I've got guitars in storage. And I've got a ukulele here that I was playing for every night for ages and I've stopped. But now I've got a music stand and it only cost me $5. And music stands, if you buy them new, are not cheap. And I wasn't going, I thought, should I get it or not? I thought, you know what? Get it because you know that if you don't get it, you're going to wish you had it and it's not going to take up much space. The kids also like to learn music. One's got a keyboard and one's got a didgeridoo and one's got a ukulele and one's got a guitar. So you never know. Someone might actually get out and do something. But anyway, I've got myself a music stand for $5, so that's keeping. Slowly get in there, guys. Um, this morning was a pretty good morning. When I went back and got the Silent Butler, I also saw this. And Laurie's gone, that's five dollars, that's only four dollars. What the heck? That's, what are they doing? And I'm thinking to myself, she said, he said, Tuesday girls always do anything, the price is cheap. So I'm going back Tuesday or Wednesday after they've been there, unless they get lectured. But check out this lovely timber. Oh, I might keep this because this is going to come in so handy. I can put my, oh no, all my bits for when I'm packaging stuff. But isn't it lovely though? It's a 1960s, I reckon 60s, 70s, probably 70s um, tray. So I love that. And I also got this Kate Bush. Oh, I've got a, something else over there. Um, Kate Bush um, little record. <laughs> I don't know if this has actually been signed or where it's supposed to look like that, but I'm going to be investigating. Yeah, it's got, I don't know, someone might have been mucking around with it. I don't know. But anyway, so I got that Kate Bush um, little whatchamacallit. I also got myself, which has fallen over there. I think those little square. Should I show you? Hang on for a second. I'll show you. Okay, I got my. I was going to explain it. And I thought, now nah, let's get get down there and pick it up. Um, one of these little old clocks. Now I've got. Once again, I'm going to talk about my storage shed. I've got about three or four of these in my storage shed. This one doesn't work. Laurie had it up for all night. He said, and it kept every. It kept missing minutes, so um, I don't care. I think they're really funky, and maybe I can find someone one day to fix it. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it as is because they're a really good um, prop. So, um, yeah, I think they're really funky. Who, who's got one? I love them. I think they're really cool. I've got a few. I don't know what the other ones, different, different colored ones I know I've got in storage. Okay, that's all done. Now, one more box. I think I've got one more box. I always feel like I've missed something, but I don't think I have. So, well, I usually do miss something, but I think I've done really well today because I had it stacked next to me. I got some of these tumbling people for when my kid boys said they're bored, which they're not allowed to use that word around me. I get really frustrated with them when they do that. I got that. I got Alf cake tin, which I will be selling. Now, I don't know if it's been used because who, who keeps the cake tin with the paperwork on it I don't so yeah I'll probably end up selling him um I got these awesome it's beautiful buckle it was only 50 cents and things I can't reach I got this hang on I got this um uh gift set which I'm going to put up on eBay which is Bayless and Harding um, body wash and that. So I, pres I presume it's for men. I don't know. So I'm going to put that up on eBay. And can't look at my basket yet. I'll show you the other bit first. I got some more. So I said to you earlier, I really want to get away from plastic stuff. So I've got some nice little bo two nice bottles like that. Just like so they're probably only modern ones, but they're only two dollars. So they're good for grains and stuff. So I've got two of those. Oh, we're nearly down to nothing. No luck with vintage clothing this week, which was disappointing everywhere I go. But the late, where I got the kimono, she's taken my name and she's going to call me if they have anything like that come in. Okay, so this morning when it was downpour happening, I was in town and I ended up getting these lots of earrings. Now on the on their display board, they had them for $3 each, which I think is crazy. These are not in sort of 60s, I think. 60s, oops. 60s, 70s earrings, clip-on earrings. Um really cute they are and these ones were i saw the i saw these first and then hang on sorry guys i'm trying to hold them up okay 
so this square rhinestone um ear clip on earrings can you see i don't know if that is that too blurry i can't tell anyway just trust me the beautiful rhinestone earrings they have a bit of that green vetiver 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 whatever it's called at the back i don't know i can't remember what it's called i always forget there's no stamps on it but i would say 70s maybe 80s maybe 80s and then these ones which i she pointed out to me which i think are gorgeous these are screw-ins can you see that i can't bring it i don't want to bring it too close it goes all blurry but you can see that they're beautiful so she gave them all to me for five dollars i think she may have thrown in the the buckle too i'm not sure but yeah i was happy with that instead of nine it was only five and i think the buckle might have been thrown in so yeah i was really happy with that and lastly <gasps> no it's not lastly because i went to the dump i knew there was something else i did yesterday the guy always likes my shirts that i wear too i had a really nice green shirt actually it must have been nice because i had another lady compliment me on it too but she goes he, he says to me are you always wear the really nice tops so i'm going oh gee thanks guess what i got guys <laughs> i got another giant mat but i didn't get one i got four and guess what they are the world so i'm not going to open them right up just trust me they're as big as the, Aust the Australian map I got. See how gigantic. I'm hoping I can get something for those on eBay. There are four of them. So even if I only get $10 each or something, I think that would be fantastic. Um, beautiful maps. I've seen a friend of mine has got a big world one on her wall, permanently stuck on her wall. But yeah, I got those yesterday. It's the only thing that was at the dump yesterday. And this is what I really love. I got this this morning. Isn't that funky? I don't know how old it is. It's very African-y looking. No snakes inside it. But I love it. This is a keeper. This is not going anywhere. I love these sort of funky, unusual type. Bar I love baskets anyway. But isn't that gorgeous? I'll be able to use that. I'll be able to go shopping with that. <laughs> I think it's just, just a gorgeous basket. So that's in my collection for good now. It's $3 and I just loved it. So, guys, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know once again if you want to look at my um, beads. If you don't, that's fine because I've got them all divided up ready to, to be sold. So maybe I should just do a quick video and then hopefully you'll say yes. <laughs> I'll see what happens. But that's it, guys. Oh, hang on a minute. No, that's not what's it. One more thing. See? See? Oh, the last option, when I got the earrings, she had in this in the bottom of the cupboard was this um little case and i said can i have a look at that and i had a feeling it was cards and it was and look how cute these are get them out it's actually got someone's name mummy written there is it might be a bridge it says score pads so it could be a bridge packet i don't know what it is but 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 this is what uh, come on come out okay i'm not getting them out this is what's in them set of cocker spaniel cards so i'm sort of thinking maybe and it would probably go poo poo at me selling them individually as trading cards because people still do the trading cards with um these types of things so i think that's what i'll do why not sort of sad to divide it up but it's also nice to make money <laughs> so <laughs> i probably will be doing that then i think that's it i'm going now before i find something else i've missed I'm pretty sure that's it. All the stuff behind me, I've got a list today. I've got stuff everywhere. I've got a list. All my clothing has been listed, so I'm grateful. I'll show you all my boxes over there. I've been getting all them from the um, chemist. So if you ever need boxes, go see your chemist. And they've got all my jeans and T-shirts and shirts and shoes and everything compacted up together. <sighs> And I've still got this mess over here. So I'll show you my mess. That's all rubbish over there going to the op shop and that. But look at the mess over this side. Yeah, I know. Look at my jewellery. And I've got stuff I've got to take upstairs. And I won't even show you what's over there. And my table's packed. I'm a semi-organised mess. I probably need to watch Marie Kondo. But I'm too scared to because she made me feel guilty of collecting everything. And then I'll get rid of it all. And then I wish I hadn't. And then I'll have remorse. And porter's remorse and so i won't watch it anyway guys take care if you like the video please press subscribe if you didn't like the video just don't come back um if you liked it 
hit like and I would love to see more comments. That would be fantastic. So take care, guys. Happy hunting and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.